Hello, my fellow gamers. Look, welcome, welcome back to Factor the Game. Quest for 100% for Red Dead 2. On my way to go to Marston, I get this random guy. You've got to help me out here, mister. Can you? Please. I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already. Come on. Just shoot the chains off, please. I'm done for otherwise. You know? Oh, 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 yes. Cool. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I got no money to give you, but I think I might got something even better. There's a fella told me about a big farmhouse out in the middle of nowhere. Loaded up with valuables, ripe for the taking. If you're in Rhodes, you head north and then east. There's a fella there who raises pigs. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Interesting. Alright, we'll come back with that with yeah. probably air. Well, let's go back to our original goal was to meet up with Marston. We're actually almost there to my knowledge, so it shouldn't take too much longer. Yeah, we're almost right there. We're at this place now. Oh, Johnny boy. Are you doing? <clears throat> ah, well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Fucking scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Yeah? Grow up. Hey, let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns, you're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guards, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. And where are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. It was already nightfall, though, wasn't it? Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses. Love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Oh, I don't want to drop. Yep. Hey, all the horses untethered? Think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Oops. Follow the trail south. How is the road? There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. If they see this blocking the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Uh, 
picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just Horse? the action that requires a brain. <laughs> Why is my word falling there? Eh? You're a funny fella, John Marston. From my folks, eh? You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. They're left here, towards Rhodes. Oh, so I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> hey, slow down a bit. You know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. No, this again. Oh. Fine. Damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. Handle this with me. Mr. Marston. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I'll do or die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. In before, either A, doesn't see it, or B, is like all armored. God, I was like barely missing it. Everybody stay calm and sure. everybody oh. get shot. Don't do it. I'm Go. You. Everything you got. Money. Valuable. There you go. Let's make this quick, people. Come on. We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I am adverse to conflict. But I ain't got nothing. You want to have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? What's the problem here? Just put the gun no. down. I beg you. Do this. Please. Honey, ah. hey, Don't ah. do this. Don't Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming. Don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Please. Don't do, Don't do it. You want to count for three? Can One. Be nice. God damn it. Oh, sick is better than dead, lady. I'm losing Thank my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be Ladies over. and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage car. Up, cut, huh? You sure about Why that? Why are wasting our time, You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't playing around here? But I thought. Give me the money. Got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend, then. Don't be an idiot. Put it now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Puppeteer. Everything you got. Let's go. 
300, not bad. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. What is it? You alright? Build a baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Manual painting? Okay, I, I like that. This time I'll look and you provide the cover. Try me best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Ooh, money. Some decent stuff. Jewelry's always good. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Just keep your eyes Brand of your fun, girl. I know, that's what's worrying me. We're looking good in here. Come on, we should get in here. ten dollars, can't complain there. Hey, no, that's a Alright, we should probably be going now. Stop getting on the chest. Folks are rich, all right. Oh, Phil, we're gonna get ambushed by something hard. We'll take that. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Horst Smith! Get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Then, there's a few more of them turning up. Damn my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Oh yeah, that would, that would help. Can you use it? I do like the fact that we have painting now. Painting is so much easier than Get her off? Oh crap, there's more? Well, all of them are done right here. Get the wall by escaping from the red searcher in the map and staying in a sight until they stop looking for it. Alright, okay, I'm good at that. My idea is take the uh, train way out because we're going to fall. Think you're going to take the trails. Oh, that was easy. Oh, that was fun, boys. Really?
cell phone. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. Please, we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. I'll take 1500 Yep. All right, I only have one option, it looks like. How about that area hate me? Eh, 50 bucks ain't bad. One did or a lot, that's a little bad. This. Stranger? Yeah. I'm only gonna meet the stranger. I'm a bit, a bit uh, intrigued. We haven't seen a stranger in a couple, in a while. Oh, it's a fisherman. Can I get five minutes without a fan badgering me? What? Hey. Ah, oh, ah, oh, God. Hello, chum. Chum? Do you want an autograph or a photograph? I'm sorry. People often get nervous, but there's really no need to. I, I'm just a, just a normal guy who, well, happens to be very famous. Okay. Who are you? Jeremy Gill. Who? The famous fisherman. I've written a lot of books. I'm in the newspaper all the time. Here's one from the New Hanover Gazette from a few years back. And this is a book I wrote. Huh? I wrote it. Good for you. You really don't know who I am? Ah. Oh, well. <sighs> nice to meet you. You too, Arthur. Sure you don't want a photo? Uh, not right now. Oh. You know, mothers, they often offer me their daughters. Just for a photograph? <laughs> no, to marry. But I say no. I'm married to the fish. Oh. So you're famous for fishing? Very. And that pays well? Uh, pretty well. What I mostly do is send fans stuffed fish. Stuffed fish? Yeah. Here, let me show you. Come with me. <laughs> and you're selling these? Yes. How many do you want? If you get three, we could do a photograph. Together. Like actual friends. No, I'm fine. It's, it's sort of ridiculous. Listen, jump. People love it. And I could sell even more fish if I add them. <laughs> it helps them to know that out there, there's some man fighting with Neptune on a daily basis and winning. Okay. But I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I'll fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Uh, of course, uh, not if they're too rotten. Do you like that bass? I'd sell this for $50. I'd give you 15 Send you fish. Ooh, my card and a map. Well, maybe a shell. <laughs> Only the decent ones. They have to be at least 24 inches in length and 10 pounds in weight. No one wants to imagine Jeremy Gill catching a tiddler. There's no money in tiddlers. So I hear. The freak did this happen? Hatch and male fish, legendary fish. Okay, so there's legendary fish. How interesting. All right, now that I'm just curious, though, is there anything even here?
but there's nothing here. Oh, I got you. I got you. All the way. Freak. I don't know what this is. It's kind of funny that guy was moving as I was doing this. A little more. You're almost done. The yeah, freak is that? A redfin pickerel? I don't want it. It's too light. Okay, we did catch a fish. Alright guys, next time on Red Dead Redemption 2. Marston is in Valentine. And Mike is still in Strawberry. Now, here's my question. I'm still a bit confused. You know, story was. Oops. Uh. Player? No. I guess it is progress. Yeah, story. We are still in Chapter 2. I'm a bit confused. We are at 21%. We are one-fifth of the way done, but guys, I will see you in the next one.